G'day Carbonites, welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved, here on the Ragnarok server. So, we've got a, a little bit to go through, because I've done quite a little bit off camera, quite a little bit. Yeah, that's a good way of saying it. Um, okay, so I finished off um, breeding up the raptors. This is our um, This is our base pair, and it's the second generation, so I'll... Most likely throw up the stats on the screen of uh, how our raptors are looking now. Pretty good. In the process of uh, getting it, we got this guy here. Which actually has all of the stats plus a damage mutation. And uh, and it's got the uh, the blue tips on on the feathers, so... Pretty nice, um, pretty, pretty nice raptor. So, uh, that's how this one's looking got actually quite a bit more uh, damage so 549 percent as opposed to 537 so pretty good um so at this point here we have no uh more stats to put into our bloodline so technically i could start uh, breeding the female um base with this one and keep going until we get another male with another damage mutation. So it'll be a, a 531. And uh, we could keep going like that up until 20, basically. 20 mutations. Um, we could do that. But honestly, given the stats that we currently have, I feel like we need a higher uh, HP and damage stats before I want to start... Um, Breeding in the mutate mutations. So I'm going to leave it for now. I'm not going to bother breeding them uh, until we find some new blood to put in. But I will keep this guy around just in case um, we decide to change. Um, what else? I uh, I literally uh, just logged on to a 1300 Rex. Uh, nipping up the side here and uh, he was trying to get the trike because the trike was right on the edge here he ended up getting it and he also um, demolished our water vein uh, well that we had one bite one bite just took it out <laughs> love it <laughs> and if you want to see the culprit oh actually where the fuck is he gone there he is. Bastard. Um, I don't think I showed you the roof. I went around the top and um, put thatched ceilings on, or thatched sloped roofs on a few of the sections. Just because I felt like it was too much wood. And it, it looks really, really nice. So on these sections here, what I had to do is uh, place a ceiling down first. And then I just threw up the sloped walls on either end and just capped it off. So yeah, it looks, um, looks pretty cool. Let's jump down here. Oh shit, that was close. I extended this out here. I'm not, I'm not sure how much I've shown you and how much <laughs> I haven't. So, um, because we've got this little bit that that sticks out here uh, and that that gives you a good idea of um, how I've got the roof sitting so the two middle uh, ceilings are the ones that are connected to that wall and the other ceilings are just connected to those two ceilings so that's how we've got that sitting up there looks really nice um, let's go in here so I fucked around with this, and this will house um, a industrial cooker, and it'll just leave a little bit of it hanging out the end here. So it'll be nice and compact. It, it'll yeah, it'll fit perfectly. Um, jerky is going really, really good. 
I've actually stopped producing it now because we've got over a thousand of each. So these are all off at the moment. Uh, beer is going amazing. 45 in that one. And 49 plus the, uh, the extra one. So um, she's not actually drinking that much. So every now and then I just come out and, and grab the uh, empty jars and throw them back in here. Actually, I'm going to put them in here just so we can even it out. Um, okay, so the dung beetles, I don't think they're working because of the egg collector. The egg and poop collector. So um, I've gotten rid of the cages and I'm just keeping the dung beetles and we've got this outhouse instead which is unbelievable. Um, just like you would find in Eco's mods, something overpowered. So yeah, this guy is just absolutely full. Uh, he doesn't actually pick it up out of uh, the outhouse. I have to physically do it, but it, um, yeah, it's not a, it's not an issue. I, I normally, uh, type in vert and transfer all transfer all into that guy and yeah so he's he's nearly chockers now like and, and these things are chockers as well so yeah pretty um pretty good on the fertilizer front Today marks the day that I uh, started the the Patreon server on with this sort of a setup. So they're they're now running the same settings that I am on this one. And um, some of the some of the comments in Discord have just been hilarious about people losing their bases and <laughs> just severely underestimating how brutal it actually is. Oh, it's great. A lot of them were were really keen for it, um, and and they enjoyed the um, the harder content, so that's really good. Um, okay, so uh, with these, we um, oh, I actually I tamed a bee. I don't think I showed you guys, but um, it was in that same spot, uh, just over there on the on the cliff edge, so. I took the megatherium over, destroyed the nest, and uh, a bee dropped out, and I actually tamed it. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it just, it gave me the option this time, like uh, Myth was saying, like it just comes up. And yeah, but I don't know why the one in the swamp wouldn't work for me. I think we're going to go for that. It's, uh, it's a purple drop. Um, okay, so today, what are we doing? Well, we're going to get this drop. And um, we I did harvest a lot of uh, silk off camera. Actually, and I think that might have been on camera. Oh, fuck, I don't remember now. But we are going to make our desert gear. I also want to paint it as well, because I want to start getting into our color scheme. And start doing uh, doing that again. Painting all the saddles and stuff. I think it's really good. That's Vithri's base. Fucking. I think that's his old base too. He needs to clear it out. Um, we're also uh, going to tame um, a 300 Anki that I found uh, in just in the snow, snow biome over there. It's not too far. And, um, oh, I wrote a small uh, mod to help with the 300 spawns because, um, we found out that when we increase the level cap to 1500, it actually removed 300, uh, dino spawns from the equation, even though, um, Hang on a sec, just, just let me... Let's 
Let me quickly get this. Paris is settled. Jesus Christ. And a grenade blueprint, seriously? <laughs> um, yeah, so the uh, increasing the level spawns uh, removed level 300 dinos from the equation, even though the, the math um, works out for it. it. We should have got them because it would have went up in 50s. So we would have got 200s, 250s, and then 300s. But it removed them for some reason. Um, and it removed... 350s and 400s it was going 250s uh, straight to 450s so I wrote a small mod to constantly check the the dinos and replace any 200s and 450s with 300s that's all it does and um, yeah it's running really really good there's there's lots of 300 spawns but we still get that really high um, level dino ratio as well which is really, really good. So that's been running um, for the last day and a half, and it's been running really well. Um, haven't even noticed it running in the background, which is good, considering that it's processing 40,000 dinos at a time. Pretty good. <laughs> um, okay, so first, let's let's make our, um, our desert gear. So we should have... Uh, Should have enough for it all. I think it's made in the smithy, isn't it? Yeah, crafted at the smithy. Alright, so that's um, the stats on it. 400, uh, 240 armor. 300 durability. Um, weapon damage is... 154%. That's actually water retention. That's the, the way the game... Um, calculates it, it actually uses the damage slot. Um, actually, you can you can see it in here. Basic armor pack. Yeah, so I, I my mod automatically um, renames it. But yeah. So it looks uh, looks good. Also, let's uh, let's get rid of this fucking thing. I've been waiting for you guys so I can get rid of this stupid fucking goatee that Miss gave me. Oh, it's fucking it's an afro as well, a purple afro. Jesus Christ! Let's remove the dye, and we'll go with the Viking, and uh, let's remove the dye from that as well. Okay. Should be good now. All clean. Alright, let's get the uh, scissors back in there. Fucking bastard. <laughs> okay, let's put our gear on. Alright. I think, I think that's it. I'm not a fan of that cyan, to be honest. <laughs> no, I, I can't, I can't do it. Um, let's grab some more dye. Let's try some, some other accent colors. Um, things like tangerine are pretty good. Let's try orange, um... Yeah, it's not bad. I think I like the uh, tan around the uh, knees. Let's put all these fucking dyes away. We don't need to be carrying them around. I'm not going to tell you how long that took me to do that. <laughs> I'm just going to cut it all out and show you the final product. 
All right, so we've got Trank Arrows. Um, we can dump all that shit. I can actually... I could scrap it all. Couldn't I? Don't need any of that. Yeah, fuck it. Scrapping it. Okay, um, let's grab some more narcotics, uh, just in case we need to make some more arrows on the fly. Why am I looking in there? I've got to get this sorted out. We've got to make a storehouse. Um, where we can just have, uh, storage containers, because I, I don't like living like this. We've got fucking shit everywhere. Like, they shouldn't even be in here. Building supplies are at least in the smithy, ah, uh, in the S plus crafting station. Alright, so we've got 50, that should be enough. We've got 35, um, appetizer X. Now, an Anki's gonna take, uh, Dilo Kibble. Do we have, we've got 10 Dilo eggs. We could, uh, we could definitely make up some some kibble. These should all be full, yep. So let's put those in, and um, there it is there. So we just want 10 of those. Go. Not enough resources. What do we need? Severed. Oh, I see. I see. Um, we want to make Dilo kibble, not Anki kibble. There it is. Ten items. All right, cook. Yeah, that'd be good. We'll we'll start getting into kibble tames. Um. All right. So while we're waiting for that to cook, let's um let's make up the vin uh the S plus versions of these. So if we just jump in here real quick. Oh shit! We've nearly got. Uh... Yeah, we, we can we can make a couple. Now, I've never made, uh, this is my first time actually playing with beehives in general. Um, so I'm not 100% sure. Like, I asked Myth, uh, what the, what the dealio was. And, okay, so... We can nearly make three. We've got enough for two. Let's, let's see if we can pull the three. No, only two. Alright. But that's fine. That's totally fine. So I just like to keep some jars uh, full in there for for this sort of situation when you want, when you want to cook something it makes it a lot easier. And we'll actually we'll pull some more thatch into here. So the reason why I'm using thatch to um, as a fuel is because it um, the way. Like, the way the cooking pot works is it doesn't have a set recipe. So, if it has all the ingredients in it for something, it just cooks it. And what happens is, when you're trying to make kibble and stuff like that, you're putting in berries. And then when the wood turns into charcoal, charcoal is one of the ingredients in dye, mixed with berries. And then you start, you know, wasting your resources making stuff you didn't want. Alright, so hopefully that level 300, um, Anki is still over there. I'm, I'm confident we would find, um, we would find heaps of 300 Ankies on the server. In fact, just to, just to prove it to you, just to prove how, how good the mod is working. Um, I'm going to spawn in a, uh, transmitter just so we can do a dino scan. Ankylosaurus. There we go. Look at all the 300s. 
there's, there's actually uh, some 200s have been respawning. So the way the mod works is while there's 300s um, of a creature, it doesn't bother replacing any of the other ones. And that's just to reduce server lag. Um, so if we do end up running out of 300s, the mod will replace all the 200s and 450s with some more 300s. Um, Alright, so let's um, destroy that. Uh, what were we doing? We were cooking kibble. But that wasn't all we were doing. We were waiting for something. Oh, the ES plus uh, beehives. Yeah, there we go. Domesticated beehives, that's what it is. Alright, so we got honey in there for our... Um, fuck, I always forget what it's called. The... Um, is it the animal tender? The one that does auto imprinting. Fucking, I forget. Alright, start filling up these. Okay, we've got all those. I'm gonna leave the kibble in there for now. And I... I don't think we need these, um, these beehives, to be honest. I think we can just demolish them. Do we lose all the rare flowers that are in there? Looks like we do. Unless it's in you? No. So we don't need to worry about these actually um, stinging us now, which is really good. I have no idea what to do with these guys. The color on this one's awesome, because I don't think I can turn them into um, into domesticated ones. So we've got those two, let's throw some rare flowers in there. We've got a couple more honey. Not enough to make a third um, uh, domesticated uh, beehive, but some. And uh, it looks like we'll have to get some more rare flowers uh, at some point. I mean, it's, it's no rush. Alright, so let's just make sure these guys... Yeah, see, you're, um... Let's make everyone passive. I have no idea what to do with those guys, to be honest. Let's just leave them. Um, alright, so we're gonna... We're gonna tame an Anki. I don't think we're gonna bother with trapping it. It should drop fairly quick. Um... Oh, we're gonna pick up the kibble. Yeah, so those uh, those dung beetles, they're, they're not a complete waste of um, of time in taming. Because remember, we need to tame two of every creature anyway. So it's not that bad. Alright, we've got to be careful. There's a lot of dire wolves in this area. Um, when I was getting the drop that was up here, that's what led me to the 300 Anki. There was at least 12. I have no idea what's going on there. Uh, anyway, we're heading up this way. So I just, uh, I just hug the, uh, the mountain range here. Where it wraps around into the snow biome. 
That sounds nasty. I thought I heard something growl. Alright, scout out. Die wolves. It, it wasn't, it wasn't very far in. He was around those 1400s. He might have been killed off. Oh, I didn't know Deodons were aggressive like that. There's two 300s and two 1300s there. Jesus. All right, let's just hang up, hang out up here with these guys. So these are the two 1400s or 1450s. Yeah, see, the 300, he might have been killed off. Being being such a lower level than everything else, he might have been killed. Or someone else could have tamed him. I mean, it's possible. Thirteen fifty. Woolly rhinos. Oh, I love rhinos. So cool. Yeah, Deodons, they really don't like uh mammoths. And I already scrapped all my uh hide gear. Because the hide gear would have been perfect for this. What's that? That's a UT. With some 300, all three, all three of them are 300, uh, Carnos. Yeah, let's, let's stay away from that. Oh, shit. Lure that saber over here. What is it? It's 900. Shit, die wolves. We, I'm pretty sure we just aggro them. Yep. Just drag those guys down as well. <laughs> Get them on the mammoths. Well, unfortunately, uh, I think that Anki's gone. That uh, 300? I'm, I'm sure there's, um, like, there's probably another one just around the corner or something. Just, uh, it's just dangerous, <laughs> that's all. A lot of stuff we need to avoid, like those uh, dire wolves there. Look at that. Jesus. Now that's a fucking pack. That, uh, that looks like an oil node. We will have to remember that. Looks like someone's already got one there. Looks like there's a couple here. I think, um, we're just gonna check this out real quick. It's myths. He's only got 364 in there. I don't want to take that. Yeah, no, nah, I'll just I'll just leave it. If he had thousands, I'd uh, I'd definitely borrow some. He doesn't have much in there. Is 
this crystal? Fuck. We need crystal. May as well pick some up. These oil nodes? Fuck. This is... Could find this cave. Be careful of those uh, bears over there though. Alright, so we're coming back with... Whoa, shit. 1120 oil and 974 crystal. So it wasn't a complete waste of a trip. We found this nice little cave here. So where are we on the map? Okay. I'm trying to get the light on it. There we go. Might not be able to get an Anki, but we might uh, come back with a 300 Sabre. If I could fucking hit the bastard. Wow, is he running already? I've only got three shots on him. That's the 1350. Oh, there he is. Shit. It's going to go up this way because I don't like having my back facing over there. Right, let's check the uh the old torpor. Oh good. Alright, sadly we uh we don't have any don't have any prime. Really need mutton for it. Oh, I know what I can do. I can teleport. Actually, I'll, I'll keep the fucking kibble just in case. Where did the raptor go? Like, I know he's following me. Did he fucking fall down? Oh, no, there he is. Excuse me, B. You fucking dickhead.
All right, let's go to last remote location. I'll take us back to the saber. Holy shit. All right, fuck the 300 saber. Holy shit, how long does this fear last for? Come on. Fuck, no, it's still coming. Yeah, that's, uh, I'm pretty sure that saber got fucked up. Alright, whatever. We're going home. Fuck it. It's a bust. What the fuck? What the fuck are you doing, dickhead? Uh, let's check those beehives. We'll see how much quicker they are. Oh my god, heaps quicker. Yeah, we only need two. We don't need any more. Alright, I think we're going to call that a day. Um, so not, not too bad. How's the crystal actually look? Yeah, we're over a thousand now. And 2,700 oil. Uh, is that all the metal we have? I've got a little bit more in there. Um, seeing as we've got so much um, wood there, I might actually start stockpiling some gunpowder. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't like the, the way... The tangerine, like, it made it look like I wasn't wearing a shirt at all. <laughs> at least this, uh, like, you can definitely tell that it's not my fucking chest. Uh, I think we're going to call that an episode, guys. Uh, yeah, we, we, we did get, um, like, quite a lot done, uh, even though there was a failure. We didn't, uh, well, there's two failures if you include uh, not finding a 300 uh, Anki. I think, um, <laughs> that, was, that was an adventure. Spawning back in and just seeing those Kanos there and then a UT right in front of me. It was epic. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. As always, don't forget to lead your targets and I'll see you next time.